Good evening, Earth. What's going on? Let's look at some propaganda um, from Vice President Kamal Harris. So yesterday we learned that Donald Trump's former chief of staff, John Kelly, a retired four-star general, confirmed that while Donald Trump was president, he said he wanted generals like Adolf Hitler had. Donald Trump said that because he does not want a military that is loyal to the United States Constitution. I've had enough already. Vice President Harris. What are you doing? You are violating the Hatch Act, first off, by getting in front of the White House and a presidential seal to attack your political opponent. One. Two. Donald Trump is the best ally that Israel has. His daughter is Jewish. His grandchildren are Jewish. Okay? I have a photo I need to switch to. Let's look at this photo. That is a Jewish family, an Orthodox Jewish family, under a sukkah, because we just had Sukkot, the week of Sukkot. Those are, that's, that, that's Ivanka, Ivanka Trump. That's Donald Trump's daughter. She's Jewish. Grandchildren, Jewish. Here's a collage of events of Donald Trump. With all types of Jews. He's at the Western Wall. He's got probably some Chabadnik guys. He's he's a huge ally to Israel. He was just at the Rebbe Shul. The Rebbe, a lot of people don't know this. Let me pull the photo. Rebbe was like the last... Uh, most relevant prophet of the Jewish people. Let's go, Rebbe Trump. Okay, here's there's the memorial. There's Trump. He was just there praying, wearing a kippah, wearing a kippah. This is. This is absurd. First off, Kamala Harris, you in general are anti-Israel. What you did this past spring threatened the ability for the nation of Israel to get after Sinwar, who is a demon. This guy's a demon. He was a Satanist. He serves literally the Antichrist from Iran, the Adjal, Ayatollah Khomeini. And you are have been impressing upon us the 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 importance of not accomplishing those objectives you kamala harris are the one whose chief of staff has very close ties to iran you are the one whose chief of staff has very close ties to the person who just leaked american intelligence about our ally israel's battle plans with iran you are the one who's been caught meeting with imams who are close to iran you are the one who's anti-Israel. Your administration is the one who just passed a directive through the Department of Defense to authorize violence to be used against American citizens. That's you, Kamala. Your administration weaponized the Department of Justice to go after social media companies to censor free speech. Your administration did that, and as Biden testified recently, you were heavily involved. So I have to question the validity of General Kelly's testament coming this late in the game. A man who was fired, who could reasonably be bitter, who could have gotten a nice check to come out and say something controversial, and who's been backed up by whom? John Brennan. John Brennan, who committed what? T treason. 
John Brennan committed treason when? When he authorized the use of the CIA to operate domestically within the United States to spy on members of Congress and compromise them in their votes. That is treason. He was never prosecuted. He is the one on media right now backing up General Kelly. And who else? John Bolton. The biggest war hawk in U.S. history. So I'm sorry if I don't believe anything you just said. Your history of lies indicates that you're incapable of also telling the truth. Does Donald Trump always tell the truth? No, he's a politician. I don't trust everything, everything he says. Absolutely not. But you're worse. And your administration's worse. And we know it by the fruits of that. So it's absurd that you're you're stooping to this, this low of an incident. And what you did is, is an affront to all the members of the tribes of Israel, to all of those who call themselves Jewish. This was an affront. So it's ridiculous. So all I can do is pray to Adonai, El Shaddai, El Yon, Yahweh, Eyah, Asher, Eyah, to the Lord Almighty, the Most High, Yahweh, all that is and will be that Donald wins this election and you do not. That's my prayer. And my prayer is that the Democratic Party can stop this propaganda war that they have been conducting for 10 years to the point where now 30% of Democrats wish Donald Trump dead. I'm praying for the de-escalation of the calls of violence of the Democratic Party. See, the ones who point the fingers, the ones who cast the stones, these are the ones who are the real danger to democracy, the ones who will bend the, the rules to win at all costs. That's dangerous. What you're doing is dangerous. Wrong. It's wrong. And so all I can do, though, is pray. Pray to the Heavenly Father. Mother, great spirit, great mystery, that you don't win. So that's my prayer.